YouTube, welcome back to Peterson Auto. Today we're talking about a Bosch style relay. Um, I assume Bosch was the people who came up with it, or maybe they made it popular. I don't know, but everyone refers to them as the Bosch style relay. Um, I think there are 30, 30, 57, 30, 87 relay, something like that too. Um, long story short, they basically look like that. So, ain't much to them. Uh, little square things have five terminals on them. If I hold that up right, you can see the uh, wiring diagram on there. Uh, it's basically going to show you a couple things. That the uh, 87 terminals are a power out, the 30 is a power in, and the 85 and 86 are your control circuit. So, a um, couple different ways to wire these, honestly. If you go, let me get a pointer. Okay, so now I have a pointer. So if you go ahead and look at this here, here's your 87. Then this one doesn't have it, but right there's a spot called 87A. Um, so those two will connect to this one here, which is 30. And then the two sides just control the circuit. That's going to give you your on and off. You can either do power in here, all, power into one all the time, and switch on the ground. Or you can do a switch power in and just run the ground to ground. Whatever you want to do. Both work fine. Um, but by doing that, whenever you have a complete circuit going through these two terminals, it's going to activate electromagnetic coil inside which is going to go ahead and allow the power coming in here to go to here through a little switch okay nice and simple so some of these have the five terminals uh, the fifth terminal here is 87A and this one's 87 so your 30 is your power in what's the difference between your 87 and your 87A well your 87 is going to act as a normal relay so your 87, when you put power through this circuit here for the 8586 control, it's going to go ahead and allow the 30 and the 87 to make contact, okay? So that would be your normally open wiring. Uh, if you want it to be open without activation, it's normally open there. Now, if you go to 87A, that's going to change it over to normally closed wiring. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, that means whenever there's power coming to here, it's going to go out 87A. And then you take these two terminals and run a circuit through them, complete a circuit through them, either switch ground or switch hot, and it's going to switch to put in the power out here. So a couple advantages of that now. If you want a switch that kind of controls two devices, um, like in the previous video I was talking about those uh, relays there, you could really do that with one simple on-off switch. The switches I got have a little better wiring, so I may go without relays on them. Um, they have a little better control circuit. It's a multi-pole switch. Um, so it's got like two switches in one, if that kind of makes sense to you there. They can control two circuits very easily. So one circuit will be for the uh, fill, and one will be for the dump. So, but if you wanted to, you could easily have the 87A go to the dump, and the 87 go to the fill. And the only real difference I would notice in that is whenever you go ahead and you uh, turn the switch off or turn the key off, and it loses power to these control circuits, is it would go through here and empty the dump circuit. Um, which I kind of don't want to do. I want to be able to park it and leave it there without it airing down. Um, I don't mind it seeping down over some time, but I don't want to run into a mini mart, turn the truck off, come back out, and have to wait for it to air up. It's not practical. So hence why I'm going to be wiring it a slightly different way. It will be two relays, controlling the two circuits, or no relays at all, and just wire it direct with some fuses in there. Either way, we're going to get where we need to get with it, so... Um, but yeah, just want to give you a rundown of these relays. They're simple, easy to wire once you know what's going on. 
So here's your control circuits on either side. That's your power in. And then the 87 and the 87A, which is missing here in this particular re relay, are going to be your power out. 87A is when there's no power coming into the control circuit. You'll have power out. The 87, when there's power coming into the control circuit, you'll have power out there. So all the switch does is it decides between putting power out here or here. That simple. That easy. So now you can uh, go ahead and add those fog lights in without having a pre-installed harness. You make your own harness, cut it to custom lengths, fit it to your needs, put a relay where you want it. It's going to be accessible for you instead of tucking it down and just letting it dangle under your hood somewhere. So, really good relays, Bosch style relays. There's a quick how-to for you. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Peterson Auto.